Hey, welcome everybody. Um, so in a few moments, I'm gonna call to the stage a good friend of Yext, uh, Amir Glatt. Uh, for those who don't know Amir, Amir uh, and Itai Sedan co-founded Duda back in 2009. Um, to first thank you, Duda, for being our overall sponsor for the Partner Summit. Really appreciate it. So Duda is a web design platform. It's, um, it's used by companies that offer web design services uh, to small businesses. So think of your freelance uh, uh, web designer, your... Uh, a digital agency, um, large web hosting companies, and, uh, and large online publishers, some of which are here today. Um, so we're, we're, uh, we're pleased to have you. Now, uh, Amir, uh, by himself, back in 2009, was the sole developer and engineer for Duda. He built this platform for them uh, and has since grown their R&D shop to over 40 engineers and product managers. So uh, without further ado, please welcome the stage, uh, co-founder and chief technology officer for Duda. Amir Glatt. Hello, everyone. Um, very excited to be here today with you. Uh, this conference was uh, amazing for us at Duda. We are so happy to have uh, some of our great uh, uh, partners with us here. Uh, DexYP, Haibu, uh, Publicar, um, Yale. So we're really honored to be here together with so many customers. And today, I want to talk to you, let's see how I do that. Here I go. I want to talk to you about building um, uh, design-first structured websites. So this is the topic uh, that I want to talk about. So just about do that, Joe introduced us, but for, for those of you who want to have some more information, so we really have uh, um, four offices around the world in uh, uh, Palo Alto, in, in uh, um, Colorado, London, and Tel Aviv. And we're really like, our mission is to help um, web professionals, agencies, um, enterprise partners to build the best online presence solution for their SMBs. This is what we are thinking about uh, every day. So, um, what is the challenge that we see uh, when it relates to building websites and using data? So basically, we know that websites today the, the reason for websites to exist is that they really need to reflect the brand. They need to be beautiful. They need to be unique. Uh, they need to be, they cannot look like a Facebook page, basically. Otherwise, they have like no room for existence. And also the content on the website should be uh, engaging and unique and something that like is doing a plus for the business. On the other hand, we know that the website is just like one piece of, of, of data, one piece of uh, uh, representation of the business in the world today. So, right, we have like Google My Business and we have Facebook pages and we have like a um, million other places where the business needs to be. And the data needs to be accurate across all those channels. Now, when you take that and you try to do it in scale, right, some of our partners here, uh, they are building, you know, like 2,000 websites a month, right? So, when you try to do it in scale, uh, combine uniqueness of design and accuracy of data, it's very, very difficult. Because typically what happens is that when you're like very strict on your data accuracy, you end up with a boring website. Because you put all those rules that will say, hey, the website will be automated, but this is exactly how it's gonna look like, and these are the boundaries, and so on. So, so you end up with like something that is not so much better than like just like a Facebook page. On the other hand, if you want to say, no, I'm going to be unique and creative and I'm going to really like, you know, uh, let the process uh, 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 to be unstructured, many times you end up with data that is not accurate between like the website and the other, cha and the other channels that you have. And then it creates like, you know, um, uh, frustration and hurts the brand. So this is like really like, a, really like a problem that we see and we are thinking about this problem for a very long time because it's a problem that most of our customers are having how to combine the design aspirations together with web-wide accuracy. And when you talk about design aspirations, it's not only how the website looks, but it's also the process of building the websites. I'm sure that like uh, uh, the guys of you are like built websites for clients. Many times the process is not so much well defined. Many times you have to start with something and only then get the data. Uh, so it's not all very clear from point one. So this is the challenge that we uh, are thinking about how we, how we can uh, fix. So we took like a, a first like swing at the solution. Uh, we uh, announced it 
in this conference uh, last year by um, Itai, our um, uh, CEO. So basically, we used uh, the EX knowledge tags. So those of you who don't know, EX knowledge tags is a great solution that EX introduced, which is basically uh, uh, a JavaScript API that you can add to any web page, and it will get you like the data of a location using JavaScript. And what we did based on that, we built what we called a native do the widget based on EX knowledge tags. The way that it works, when you design the website, you can add this widget to the website, and the data on this widget is connected to EX and will be automatically updated uh, when something is like changed on the EX side. So this was, a, a, I think, a very good first step uh, of a solution to build websites with data that is controlled by Yext. And as I said, uh, this is just like a screenshot of how it looks like inside uh, the Duda platform. So you can see we have like a Yext widget that you can decide what you want to display there, and it's updating automatically, and which was cool. And a lot of our, a lot of our partners like really liked it, uh, but there are like few limitations that we heard. And I think those limitations are really like, you know, the, the core of the problem. So one, uh, EX knowledge tags, um, we couldn't have any set of data points. So it was like really like down to like, you know, what EX knowledge tags are uh, uh, provisioning. Se second, and maybe like the most importantly, the design capabilities were limited by us because it was a property um, design element that you add to the website. It wasn't working across the entire like Duda platform. Other thing is that like you were limited to a single source of truth, which was like you know only X. Obviously, X is the most important, but like sometimes you want to mesh it like together with like other other data points that you have like in your organization that is coming from other sources. And last, franchises that have like you know multiple locations, this this solution was really like not working for them. So we worked hard, and just uh, um, um, actually last week we. Uh, Released like our next like step uh, at this problem, um, uh, which we think is really like you know the right way to go. Um, we call it connected data. It's really a way to build structured websites with, flexi with flexible designs. So how does it work? Basically, what we did we completely separated between the design and the data or content view of the platform. It means that you can go to the Duda platform and design your website in the most unstructured way that you can think of. You can use any design element. Uh, you can be completely creative and you can really work your way. But then you can connect those design elements to our what we call a content library that can be synced from Yext or from other sources. So a complete separation between design and content that really allows you to separate the unstructured creative design process and still have like web-wide accuracy. So these are some, some examples of how it looks like. So it's really like we worked really hard and went over all the design elements of our platform and made sure that they be connected to this data. So you can see things like business descriptions and text, uh, galleries, site logos, um, I think it's like, you know, um, business hours and, uh, and maps and everything that you can think of uh, is now being connected um, uh, externally. In addition to that, we built very robust APIs and webhooks that allows you to sync the data from Yext or from other sources. So now you can really be in control and decide when the data is being synced and how. And really opens like a lot, a sea of, uh, of possibilities of like creating like, you know, what we call instance websites that you can create a website with just like, you know, one API call if you have all the data uh, already. It allows you to switch between templates without losing any data, but while completely uh, changing the design and other stuff like that. So um, as uh, we heard from Megan, like it's important always to look forward, right? So um, as I showed you, like we started with uh, first approach, uh, we uh, we extended it to what I uh, just uh, discussed, but we are really thinking about like the future, and we are working on really exciting things uh, in this area. So what are we doing? One is dynamic pages and collections. So we really want to expand these capabilities to more complex data structures and visualization of complex data structures. So think about like you want to have like a website for realtors, uh, so we can like you know with, with a click of a button create like dynamic pages for each property of the realtor of the of the realtor with like very complex designs. So this is one area that we are working on, uh, like expanding the data sets that we can support. 
the, the, the second thing, which is like maybe the most exciting, and it's really like, you know, around uh, connected to the first uh, presentation that we had here today about AI. So we are working on auto structuring the data that like people are entering when building a website and feeding it back to Yext and those sources so like it's becoming like structured data. So we know because we control the design process, we know what people are doing in our, inside our platform. So we can allow uh, everyone that are building websites in an unstructured way and entering content in an unstructured way to really understand it and feed it back to the source of truth. So um, the website can be really also a source of data that is feeding uh, uh, um, uh, the data library. So uh, that's like uh, um, ends our presentation. I was just on time, and I want to invite uh, Itai Sadan, um, my co-founder and CEO of Duda, to uh, invite uh, the, the panel here. Thank you. Thank you.